Here is another Lego tutorial from Jacefer, and I'm going to show you today how to make some sliding doors using some uh, 4x6 windows. You can use 4x5s if you want, any kind of windows will work fine. And some of these tracks. You're going to need two of these. Also, a smooth tile. Now, where do I start putting this thing together at? How's this going to work? Well, it's easier if I just show you how to actually build a wall setup first. It's a little more easier to do it that way for me. First thing I'm going to do is start setting some plates on the ground floor here, on the base plate. Something like that. So, what we're also going to do is we're going to take one of these tracks. It's just like a 2 by 8 piece, but it has this lip here, and it's smooth, and we got a notch on the side. We're going to stick this like so. Now, it depends on which way you want your doors to open. <clears throat> if you're planning on putting a, if you want your door to open to enter from here, you'd put your solid window here. If you want it from here and you want to enter here, you can do that. So I'm going to put it right here. Here's a smooth tile, just a 1x4 gray. You can put any color you want, but I'm going to stick it here. Something like so. Let's take that out of there because it's going to be harder to work around. Okay, so when we get to this far, let's start building up our walls. Now, I'm just going to go through this really quick. As I had several requests for these sliding doors. And um, it's not really that hard, really, to come in and start piecing this together. Now, I'm just doing this, is just part of a wall. This is not like I'm not building a whole house around it or anything. I'm probably going to use this in, in one of my future houses. Everybody's requesting that I actually build a one story, so I'm actually going to do that. I think it'll be different <clears throat> than the usual two story mansions that I build or those fancy houses. That I, you know, I always make. So let's start putting piecing this together. We're almost done. It's going to go six bricks high. It depends on the height of your setup that you have. So, and actually, where I got the tracks from were from a kit. I'm not sure which one it came from, but they, um, yeah, I don't want to put it like that. That's not good. Okay. Even I make mistakes. And once you get to that point there, where it looks like this, now I'll start installing the windows. I'm going to install the stationary window first. This one doesn't move. We're going to install this window, put it inside the track so it looks like this. Then we're going to put our cap piece on. Now we're going to come in, we're going to level this off here. Now if you're going to put a finished roof, I would put some of these smooth tiles on top. Something like that. And there you go. As you see, nice window. Also looks like that on the inside. You can put tiles up in here. Now, there is a lip right down here. This is hard to put a smooth tile up against this, as you may tell. If you're using the 4x5 windows, you can actually raise this up and put a patio, put some brick under here, and you'll actually have to build up a plate in here to put tiles up against this. 
Other than that, though, there's really no other way around this. You can use any other kind of window. You can use any size window if you want. Um, if you really wanted to get creative, you can actually put another set of these on the other side, have them open up like this. And these are really great for for building the house, for, for sliders. Um, if you're building a grocery store, maybe a mall. So I've been getting requests on this, so I hope this helps you out. So it's just a very simple idea. So you add, like this video, subscribe to me. Um, I can post more tutorials up. And my the next, I'm not. It's not a tutorial, but I am working on another project, and it's a travel trailer. So as you may see, it's not done yet. I can zoom out of here. So, that's the next thing I'll be working on. For the summer theme, I'm, since it's summertime, I mean, why not? Let's just do a trailer this time. And some of you been requesting a single story home. I'm going to work on that. So, For those of you who subscribed, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you guys all subscribed and liked my videos. And it encourages me to make more. So I'm going to make more tutorials. Thanks for watching.